The pig heart that kept David Bennett alive for 61 days generated some unexpected and surprising EKG results. My name is Tim Dickfeld. I'm one of the electrophysiologists that is one of the heart rhythm specialists here at the University of Maryland in Baltimore. Right in front of me is a three-dimensional model of the actual pig heart in Mr. Bennett's chest. As part of Mr. Bennett's care and for future study, the electrical activity in the transplanted pig heart was recorded daily by a 12-lead EKG. 12-lead means that we are looking at the heart in 12 different vectors, 12 different angles electrically to understand better in a three-dimensional way how electricity flows in the heart. The 3D model was created at the School of Medicine by Dr. Jeffrey Hirsch using CT scans and a sophisticated 3D printer. With the model, Dr. Dickfeld can show how electrical signals travel through the heart. Our heartbeats start typically in the right top chamber right over here and then travel from there over the right top chamber towards the wall between the right and the left top chamber, which would be right in here. From there, they kind of now travel down south, down from the top chambers towards the bottom chambers of the heart. It's well documented that electricity travels faster through a pig heart compared to a human heart. But the EKGs showed the opposite was true with Mr. Bennett's heart. Life always surprises us and medicine never stops to surprise us, we found quite something quite different. We actually saw that many of those parameters were slower and they stayed slow over the course of the 61 days that uh, Mr. Bennett was alive. While surprising, the findings do not indicate a pathological outcome like heart failure. It is not a sign of uh, rejection. It is not a sign of a failing heart. It is just describing some physiology, something in that heart which is completely novel. Dr. Dickfeld says the slower transmission of electrical signals could have been caused by the genetic modifications made to the pig heart, the medications used, or simply by the effects of the human body. Because there are so many variables, it may only be explained through more study as additional pig heart transplants are performed in the future. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.